<laughs> so we had three new chicks born in December, um, and it was quite interesting. I'll do a video on uh, what happens when chicks go broody and, and how to handle that situation. For those of you who are wondering how to raise chicks at home without, you know, buying pelts from a from a store like Tractor Supply. It's very easy to do. It's actually easier to raise the chicks on your farm the natural way than it is to buy chicks at the store that have to be under a heat lamp because and and from my experience they for the most part seem to be much healthier animals than um, the ones that we buy at the store. But we do have a situation with one chick. Um, she was fine when she was born. She was perfectly healthy. We went to Colorado, came back, and when we came back, you know, her legs were curling up underneath her. She looked like she was having a hard time growing some of the, the feathers out, um, just a little more naked than the other chicks, and she had diarrhea. But um, and I and I immediately I didn't know what that what that was. Um, so I immediately separated the other two chicks. In fact, the last couple days I kind of just let them in with the flock and they seem to be doing pretty well. I'll check on them here in a moment. Um, but they all have, you know, they, it, it seems to be a smooth transition for the other two from what I can tell so far. But these, um, this one chick, you know, has that issue. She can't stand and when she tries to stand, she's wiggling on her feet because her feet are all curled up. And um, the initial thought that I had, and I'm gonna show you this chick in a second so you can get an idea of what this looks like. But the initial thought that I had was I need to put the chick out of her misery, right? I didn't want to have an animal that was suffering because in the wild it would have naturally been taken care of by now. Um, and that is something definitely worth considering, especially with all the different types of complications that could happen with animals. You have to kind of look at it and say, am I prolonging this? or do I need to, to end it? And something about this chick that I've been observing is just, you know, her desire or his desire, we don't know if it's a hen or, or a rooster yet, desire to continue to eat, continue to drink, continue to, to try. And so from that, I decided, okay, I'm not gonna just put this chick out of its misery, but I did start doing some research and I found other people with the same problem in chicks. Now, a lot of us who are, you know, new to, to raising chickens, chickens, you know, weren't ever really my thing, but I, I love having them. They feed us lots and lots of eggs. Um, but we don't necessarily realize some of the conditions that baby chicks could have. And what I found was that this chick is suffering from basically a B12 deficiency. Um, and the symptoms are all the same. Uh, lack of feathers, lack of gaining weight, diarrhea issues, and its legs curling up underneath it and, and being unable to stand. Now, I did, you know, initially think it could have been one of any numerous viruses, but after observing her for a, a, a few more days, I recognized this was a deficiency issue. Sometimes, you know, using something like a supplement to kind of help with that process is, is a good idea. But, um, and this is just a liquid B12 um, plus vitamin K. I don't know what the vitamin K does, but I, I want to emphasize you can, I just, I thought about when I first discovered this, I thought, man, I need to go get some B vitamins and, and crush them up and, you know, dissolve them into the chick's water and just solve this right away. Um, I wouldn't necessarily do that because the vitamins that we take have different, um, vitamins in them. Um, we all process things differently. I know that you can't over, um, you can't over give a, a chick vitamin B12. They'll just process what they can't utilize back out again. So um, it's, it's good though to stick with things that are designed for the hens, designed for the roosters when you have a situation like this instead of trying to take stuff that you might take and crush it up and put it in their water. I'm not saying that people haven't done that, and I'm not saying that doesn't work. Um, it certainly is a little cheaper than spending $20 on a bottle of liquid B12. But, you know, if this is an, an issue um, with, with baby chicks, this is gonna be something that's good to have on hand. In this situation, it's been going on for uh, several days, and I've been going back and forth on whether or not I just needed to end it for this chick to, to be the most humane about it, um, until I made this discovery 
and I made this discovery because, you know, if the chick is trying, I wanted it to at least try. I don't want it to continue to suffer, but I want to at least try. So I'll do a follow-up video after I start this process to just kind of expl show how the chick uh, does after we start giving it B12 supplements. And I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do to give this chick its B12 supplements. Okay, so I do have these two uh, nesting box doors actually go into what I call the chick box. We have uh, nine chicks brewing right now and some eggs underneath a hen. And so this box is going to be very helpful to us in the long run. Um, I want to be careful because this chick is not feeling well. She gets scared fairly easily. Um, but I'm just going to kind of carefully open it up and go in there and get her water in, in a way that She's right there. I'm, I'm trying not to scare her too much because I don't want to injure her by her freaking out about um, you know, what I'm doing. So she was, when I opened that up, she was right here and I kind of hid behind the door so she didn't feel threatened by me. Uh, now I'm going for, I have a little food dish in here. Okay. Now we do feed our chicks and our hens um, organic, I think it's called nature's best organic chicken feed. And I have not done the research on that feed. I don't know if maybe the feed is the problem with the deficiency, um, but from what I read, this type of problem actually starts um, before the chicken is hatched. So, um, Maverick, you better stay off my foot. So what I'm actually going to end up doing is I'm going to wash out this little water bowl that she's been drinking out of, and I'm going to put the B12 directly into that. Now, one ounce of this can treat up to a gallon, I think. Um, so I'm not going to do a full capful. I'll probably just do a little bit. But again, if I overgive the chick the B12, um, it's not going to hurt her. She'll be able to process what she needs, and, and the excess won't hurt her. And then I might... Um, I haven't been putting anything on the food. I'm, I'm gonna do this primarily through the chick's water source. Now, put a little bit of this. Maybe like a drop or two. So that's all she really needs. I want to make sure that she gets plenty of water. Well, give her a little more water here. Okay. This stuff is pinkish in color, but I'm just kind of letting it dissolve into the water, mixing around with my finger. Um, this is called uh, Rooster Booster Liquid B12. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the water back in and then get her some food. hiding from me right now. <laughs> but alright. And this is just a little system I have worked out for her. I needed to use the chick feed with the other chicks. And it's, since it's just her, I figured I'd just use something like this to make sure she had her enough food. <laughs> She was actually already in there drinking that water with the B12 in it. So we'll see how this turns out. Um, you know, they, they always say if you wait too long with this stuff, it causes more problems. But um, I think that she'll be fine in the long run. I think she'll have plenty of time to, to correct herself, so to speak.
You see our two newest little guys over there. I've, I've always fed them in a feeder, but I want them to get used to foraging and looking on the ground. So I'm gonna throw their food out here with the other chick food. It looks like they're holding their own in here. Lucky for you, my friend.